but it's facing the other way, right? So we'll try doing, just have, we'll do well. But now that her head's going to be facing that way, I'm going to make sure there's a ton of space behind her, right? So I'm going to actually scoot. That's more like that. There's a lot of space behind her. I'm going to scoot up the bird. Because if she falls here, her, she's going to fall on her feet, right? So we're just being mindful where the fall is. Worst fall coming up. Oh no! So this is the exact opposite, right? It happens. The exact opposite. If your wrists are the pile driver. Yeah, if your wrists are above the shoulders here, it's a point of no return. You gotta keep them. Um, it's not like bird. So so it's not like bird where you're 90 degrees. You actually need your arms back this way and your legs like that. It's like a V. So try not to go. You're not like at that. 90 here either. No. That's the difference in well. Very unique to the other position. You're not in that position. This is like 90% of accurate, right? 90? Well is going to be a V. So let's demonstrate what it should look like, man. Back. Check this out. My arms are like that. My legs are more. You're pretty much 90. You my legs are? Maybe they are before. But my arms are definitely back this way. They're not 90, right? Yeah. So this would be 90 there, which wouldn't be good for her. So I'm back here a little. Maybe my legs are 90 a little, but definitely my arms are back this way. So it's more like a counterbalance. I'm pulling her legs this way while my feet are going that way. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a counter. And then she can also stagger me if she likes. She point that toe. Creates just like another backfly look. Okay. And setting down the same thing. If you set her down and kick it too fast for her, she's going to fall. So nice and everything's gentle out. Okay, let's break it down, Magda. Distance, right by the ears. Okay? That's a good distance there. If she's way too far forward, it's too far. And you can't get any closer than this. So right there by the ears, right? Placement of the feet. When I first base, I put it way too high here. Go ahead and come back, Magda. You put it there. It can work, but it doesn't allow the the flyer to really drape over you. You want it, your toes to be towards the lower the lower back, so her whole torso drapes over your feet. So it's nice. Again, the idea of a uh, a wet towel just drapes over a point. So your feet provide a pivot. And her torso drapes over. Your arms are straight. They're like a little V back this way, counterbalancing like that. So be really mindful of this fall this way. So you gotta constantly pull your arms back this way. The counterbalance, okay? Your arms are active. You're not just holding them straight like this. No, I'm actually constantly pulling them back a little. So and his arms and his yeah. legs are active. Yeah, a little bit of yeah. more so on the arms, making sure that she's coming back this way and not that way, right? And notice the flyer, she's really draping over. A uh, common mistake is the flyer doesn't trust enough and she kind of sits up a little. And it doesn't allow you to really balance her. So the flyer has to really trust and drape back, head all the way back, drapes down. So it looks like a well surfacing and coming down. So it's really draped over, right? And then you slowly stag a knee if you like. It creates another look. Come down. <laughs> nice.